Greetings and welcome to the Pranswarm Podcast. I'm your host, Christopher Anastasio. This is episode 110, and it is Monday, May 1st, 2023. Welcome to May, guys. Cannot believe uh, that we're already through the first four months of the year. For me, uh, May means warm weather. Warm weather goes quickly, and the next thing you know, it's the holiday season here in the United States. So <clears throat> pretty, pretty incredible how fast 2023 is whizzing by. Uh, but anyway, wanted to welcome you guys to this new episode. Um, I'm going to be delving back into the area of AI, artificial intelligence tools, and that realm uh, that we have touched on a few times here on the podcast. Uh, the last time that we got, that we gave you guys an episode on AI was episode 102, the AI takeover in early February. Uh, talked sort of about you know at sort of a tactical level some of the tools that were out there, some of the different. Um, possibilities, uh, I guess you could say, uh, that you guys could look at AI-wise, uh, but also in episode 100, which published right at the beginning of the year, our first episode of the year, January 5th, uh, a portion of that episode, myself and my co-host, Mayang Singh, uh, we went over uh, some of our predictions and outlooks, if you will, on artificial intelligence and what we saw coming and how it might impact things in 23 and beyond. Uh, so you'll get a little flavor of AI in those episodes, but uh, this episode is going to specifically focus on one tool that I'm kind of intrigued by, uh, and admittedly have not gotten a chance to use much myself, and I'll explain all that in a moment. Uh, if you guys didn't get a chance, go back to episode 109 last week, April 25th, uh, about using mar different marketing examples for inspiration. I kind of went back over some of my, my favorite uh, marketing examples or, or sources to get inspiration for marketing, building brand, that sort of thing uh, that, that I had actually first talked about in early 2022. So I used uh, this, this episode last week uh, as sort of a 16-month refresher on uh, those marketing examples that I find uh, inspiring and that I've gone to the well uh, to think about different possibilities for, for brand building and getting messaging out there in a most effective, impactful way. So check that out if you guys get a chance. That's episode 109. You know I like to start every episode with a plug on our last episode. So what I want to talk to you guys about today is an AI tool that is starting to creep into my mind as a potential alternative to ChatGPT. We have definitely mentioned ChatGPT on here before. Like I said, Definitely mentioned it in episode 102, and I'm pretty sure Mike and I covered it in episode 100. And ChatGPT is the premier um, tool that people are probably referring to when you've heard them talk about using AI, using AI assistance for social media content, uh, you know, marketing campaigns, keyword research, any of those types of functions usually you're going to get into a conversation with somebody who's used ChatGPT for that, although there are other possibilities out there. Now, I had been using a year to two years ago a tool called Copy.ai, or Copy AI as you'll hear me refer to it. Copy AI was helpful for generating you know, blog ideas, social media post ideas, things of that nature. I never really looked at it as a word-for-word -word tool, but I, but I knew that it had the ability sometimes to spark ideas or give me different, different takes on the same topic, okay? And I don't know if you guys have ever used Copy AI. If you have, this is probably a little bit redundant. But you kind of go into their interface, and you can choose the type of thing that you're creating, you know, blog post, social media post, a caption, a headline, whatnot, you know, an ad campaign, things of that nature. And then you can kind of revise the tonality of it. You can say, you know, you want it to sound like this or you want it to sound like that. Friendly, professional, casual, whatnot. And you just kind of regenerate possibilities with it, okay? Now, I haven't gone to Copy AI in a while. I don't know how much that interface has changed. I don't know if they're charging now. The, the, the version I used was free, although I, I, I don't think I had unlimited use of it. But let's just say I never came close to using the capacity that was available to me, Okay. What's interesting, guys, is starting back on, looks like April, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be going through some emails, guys, while I, while I do this with you. Yeah. So on Tuesday, April 4th, I got an interesting email in my inbox from Copy AI, marketing at Copy AI. And the subject line was, a prompt a day keeps writer's block away. And it was about introducing this new 
feature that was going to be sent to me every day called the daily prompt, quote unquote. And, in, and what they were saying here in this email was, hey, Chris, welcome to the first edition of the Daily Prompt. Every day we'll send you a new prompt that explores chat's incredible features and helps you leverage the latest advancements in AI so you can do a lot more with a lot less. Without further ado, here's a prompt to help you repurpose and distribute blog posts as social media content. Now, let me just say, guys, I should have said this even earlier, I don't know how available this tool that I'm about to describe to you is. Like I said, I haven't used it yet in Copy. I you know, played around with some of the other stuff that I mentioned to you guys AI-wise. But for, for Copy AI, I hadn't gone there yet. So it's very possible that what I'm telling you is something that you get one or two tries at and you're going to have to pay for it, or it may just be completely free. I don't know. You know, proceed with caution. But what was so interesting about this, guys, I want to kind of read a few of these to you, and then at the end I'm going to put this in perspective on how you can leverage this sort of thing. We'll go back over that. So in this first prompt that they sent me on April 4th, the prompt they suggested was, and I'm, and I'm quoting here, so that, you know, this is, this is what you would enter into Copy AI, into their chat feature. Quote, create five social media posts promoting this blog post, brackets, blog post URL, unquote. So you'd take a blog post that you had written, and then it would generate five social media posts to promote it. Let's take a look at another one. Another prompt, this is one they sent me on April 10th. Quote, I know a lot about, insert topic name, you know, blank topic. I know a lot about, insert topic, teach me the fundamentals of new topic using terminology and concepts from the previous topic I know a lot about. Okay, so very interesting. Like you know about topic A, you're asking chat by Copy AI to teach you about um, concept B. Uh, let's take a look at this one from April 13th. Quote, write 10, and then here's the possibilities that you can put, in, put after the, the, the number 10. Write 10 subject lines slash headlines slash social media threads slash ad headlines with a curiosity gap that discuss blank topic. So here's a way to come up with different subjects or headlines or social media threads that, that go to a specific topic and generate curiosity in that topic. Let's take a look at another one. Quote, write an article about blank, consider diverse perspectives, and write it in a blank tone. That came out on April 20th. And let me give you one more so you guys don't fall asleep on me. Quote, brainstorm 10 content ideas related to blank topic that blank audience would find interesting and beneficial, unquote. So, super, super exciting possibility, possibilities there, guys. When you think about your business, and now let's contextualize this to wrap things up. In these other podcasts I mentioned, episode 100, episode 102, all this really boils down to is leverage. AI is bringing you leverage. Instead of carrying the load entirely yourself, coming up with the headlines, tweaking the wording, coming up with new versions of it, revising it, rewriting it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Just starting with that blank sheet of paper that is so intimidating, a tool like, like Chat by Copy AI, again, also extends to Chat GPT and other tools that are out there, but right now I'm focusing on Copy AI because it appears to me to be an interesting competitor for this particular purpose to Chat GPT. But using a tool like this is allowing you to leverage more of your time in your business doing other things that propel that business forward and offloading this heavy lifting, generating ideas, revising and refining those ideas, cranking out volumes and volumes of content. You're leveraging tools like this chat by Copy AI. Okay, and, 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 and by doing so, you now, as a one-person marketing machine, come across like a 10-person marketing machine or a five-person marketing machine or a 20-person market. Depending on how good you get with this and how much you can systematize it, you know, if you happen to have, let's say, a virtual assistant or an in-house assistant who can do this for you, who this can be their entire existence, is, is plowing through these tools and creating content and revising and creating new content and new content and new content, 
you are simply going to go so much further using tools like this. Putting all the ethical and moral questions aside about AI, I'm not going to get into that and we're not going to cover that here. But just taking these tools for what they're worth and looking at what's possible now. And I think this copy AI is a really interesting um, alternative or, or counter possibility to ChatGPT. I know personally, guys, I don't know what your experience is. Uh, with ChatGPT, if you have the free version, you know, good luck getting in. I've even heard people say who pay for ChatGPT Plus or whatever, the, the, the uh, upgraded version of it, that they don't get in all the time and they're paying. So I don't, I don't know what the real deal is with that, guys. I've used it to a certain extent here and there uh, for certain things. I can't say I'm a heavy user of it. Uh, but, you know, try out Copy AI, guys. I know there definitely is a free version of Copy AI. I just don't know to what extent that free version goes. And I don't know if this feature, this chat feature that I was talking to you about, how free that is. You know, do you get one? Do you get five? Do you get 100? Do you get infinity per month? I don't know. But take a look at it. Especially if you're trying to use ChatGPT and you're not having much success there because you just can't get in consistently, that would definitely be a reason to check this out. But you may just, you know, you may just want to compare the two. Just see, you know, how do you like the interfaces? How do you like the, the outputs that you get from them? How do you like the versatility? How do you like the accuracy? You know, so I think contrasting that, playing around with it a little bit, you know, take, take an hour or two and, you know, on a weekend morning or, you know, later in the day in your work day or whatever, where you can just kind of sit back and just run possibilities through these tools and then see which one kind of rises to the top for your, for your purposes. So that's really what I want to do with you guys today. I've been building up, I've been saving all of these emails from Copy AI uh, since April 4th. I've got about maybe 20 or so of them in here now, you know, 20 plus, uh, that I do want to practice with, I do want to do some experimentation with, and I want to see what I think of it compared to ChatGPT. Now, of course, we definitely will come back to you here on the podcast. We will talk to you about what we're seeing but I didn't want to wait to go through all that experimentation. I want to get this idea out to you guys. I know there are some of you out there that can absolutely benefit from this right away. Whether it's using the Copy AI tool or some other tool, or if you're sparked into trying something else entirely, these tools are undoubtedly going to get you further down the road marketing-wise. If for no other reason, then they're going to help you move faster and create more volume. So you'll be able to move faster and create more volume at a bare minimum. But you may see other benefits. You may just feel like it's a better writing style. It's more succinct. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's clearly better copy than anything you are going to come up with. And I know some people are going to feel the other way around, that these tools cannot replicate their voice, cannot, you know, cannot do the things they can do with the written word. And that's fine, too. That's not to say you should abandon. If you're good at writing that stuff or creating that kind of content, I wouldn't discourage you from doing it anymore. I would simply say look for the pieces and parts that you could offload to help you go even faster, okay? So would be really interested to hear, is anybody using these tools? Has anybody used Chat by Copy AI in particular? Would love to hear about that here uh, from you guys on the podcast. Of course, if you want to reach out to us, you can find us on Facebook and LinkedIn at Transform. You can go to the website, transform.com. And of course, please, please subscribe to and share this podcast uh, with your friends and family. Okay, guys, so... Uh, hope everybody has a great start to May. Uh, we'll be back with you guys sometime next week with episode 111. Uh, but in the meantime, hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's having a great year so far uh, as we as we really head into or, or get much closer to the summer months here. Um, but uh, very, very excited to hear what you guys think of this tool and get your feedback on it, okay? You guys have a great night, and we will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>